Hi, I'm John, the Banking Systems Engineer Termel, and tonight Michael Moore is presenting his analysis on the banking systems engineering problem of the world at the Venice Film Festival. So he asked for input from all over the world. I sent in my input with the blueprint of the banking system. Let's see how he does now that he's presenting his thesis to the world. Michael Moore's Banking Systems Engineering Thesis. So, Michael Moore's Short on What to Do was my January 26th video at YouTube on Michael Moore's great ideas about helping people survive if only we had enough money. And I give the website. One year later, Michael Moore, uh, one week later, Michael Moore wrote, Will you help me with my next film? A request from Michael Moore. Date uh, February 11, 2009 from Michael Moore. I'm one of the people on his list. Mm -hmm. Friends, I'm in the middle of shooting my next movie and I'm looking for a few brave people who work on Wall Street or in the financial industry to come forward and share with me what they know. Based on those who have already contacted me, I believe there are a number of you who know the real deal about the abuses that have been happening. You have information that the American people need to hear. And I'm humbly asking you for a moment of courage to be a hero and help me expose the biggest swindle in American history. Hey, it's being swindled all over the world, too. All correspondence with me will be kept confidential. Your identity will be protected and you will decide to what extent you wish to participate in telling the greatest crime story ever told. The important he thing here is for you to step up as an American and do your duty of shedding some light on this financial collapse. A few good-hearted people have come, already come forward, which leads me to believe there are many more of you out there who know what's going on. Here's your chance to let your fellow citizens in on the truth. If you have any info that would help, please contact me at my private email address, bailout at michaelmoore.com. For the rest of you on my email list who don't work in the financial industry, you're probably wondering, what the heck is this all about? I thought he said he was making a romantic comedy. Well, I just can't say much right now. I'm sure you can understand why. One thing I can tell you is that you're going to like this movie when I'm done with it. Oh, yeah. So, again, if you work for a bank, a brokerage firm, or an insurance company, well, how about any engineers? If you have seen things or heard things that you believe the American people are having a right to know, how about know the blueprint of the banking system? Please contact me at bailoutmichaelmoore.com. Thank you in advance for your help, Michael Moore. Well, he should at least have a copy of the banking system blueprint. So I responded. Uh, here is the video I did on Michael Moore's great ideas on what to do if we only had enough money. But before embarking on an analysis of the most mysterious mechanism ever invented, see my banking systems engineering analysis at, and then go see YouTube, uh, King of the Poppers, with an index of articles. So John, the banking systems engineer, Termel, King of the Poppers, great Canadian gambler, author of the Unilets interest-free time-based United Nations C6 recommendation to governments in the Millennium Declaration. And uh, let's hope it got his attention because today I hear he's presenting his video thesis on banking systems engineering to the world. This is it. World premiere of capitalism, a love story tonight, Saturday, September the 5th, 2009 from Michael Moore. Friends, this is it. Tonight at the Venice Film Festival, I will premiere my new movie, Capitalism, A Love Story. After 16 months of production, I'm proud to present this work of mine to you. It is unlike anything you'll see on the silver screen this year. Well, yeah, I said explaining the blueprint of the banking system engineering is unlike what they've been inculcated into believing all their lives. He goes on, 20 years ago this week, I premiered my first film, Roger and Me. Tonight, my new film will premiere at the oldest film festival in the world, the Venice Film Festival in Venice, Italy. It's an incredible honor they've bestowed on us, and we feel very privileged to be able to present Capitalism, a Love Story tonight in Venice. The director of the festival said our movie was incredibly symphonic, and that he was moved by its epic nature. Jeez, these Italians, everything's an opera to them. But I seriously, I do believe we've made something that will knock your socks off. I showed it to a friend of last week and he said it's your most dangerous film yet but I assure you you'll be completely safe in watching it in your local theater well I said sure if it shows a threatening future the banksters may resist yeah but if it shows the non-threatening future like using cell phone minutes in Africa hasn't turned the former debt slaves onto their oppressors the banksters may not resist 
Amnesty, Security, Anonymity for All, even Banksters too. ASA, the global aspirin for the debt slavery disease. Michael Moore goes on, I've kept a pretty tight lid on what we've up to while making this movie, and you're about to see exactly what that means. Well, I say, sure, if it explains the liberation from debts that is now going on around the world, because every transaction done with let's currency, time dollars, phone minutes, every barter deal between nations is one less interest payment to the orthodox currency loan sharks. But it's a quiet takedown. No revenge necessary when everybody's busy getting on with getting rich while the filthy rich of today's chips finish out the game with their own broken machine. Why represent our wealth with their chips for a fee when we can represent our wealth with our chips for free? MM, isn't it easy in the age of YouTube and internet to keep something like this under wraps? But we've pulled it off and I can't wait to show you this latest effort of mine. Well, I said, if he saw money as debt, then he saw the first part of the der derivation of Termel's miracle equation when they explained that everyone who borrowed the principal P owed the principal P plus the interest I, so that P over P plus I survive, and the ratio who don't survive, well, that the money as debt video didn't work out. If P over P plus survive, the remainder I over P plus I cannot. That ratio who get knocked out of the game is Termel's miracle equation because it predicts the size of the shift B inflation, the ratio of collateral confiscated. If he saw a Ziegheist or a Ziegheist addendum, he'll have noted the explanation of the same problem due to the interest demand for the repayment of more than was issued, but also shows how an interest-free world with enough money would then work. Wonderful movie. But if Michael Moore expects to put together something better than both these grade A analyses in banking systems engineering, it can only be by going beyond them to complete the derivation of the miracle equation, which shows that inflation B and, sh and unemployment, which are I over people's I, are zero when interest is zero. Let these acting views stop Nehemiah 510, now deleted from some of the newer Bibles. Here, Michael Moore's chance to strike a blow at the global debt slavery system. Will he strike at the heart and explain how restricting the bank's computer programs to a pure service charge and abolishing the interest charge upgrades it to ideal? Will he mention the Millennium Declaration Unilet's time-based currency resolution? That would have global impact, wouldn't it? Oh, by the way, there's this UN Millennium Resolution that everyone should get an interest-free loan they can pay back in cash or in time. And use your Facebook or Twitter or Google or Yahoo or MySpace account to keep track of your public IOUs. Yeah, that would have a global impact. They're paying with mobile phone minutes over in Africa and Arabia. Why don't we pay with mobile phone minutes here and everywhere too? Yeah, that would have global impact. He might even throw in Termel's already used this online account to pay for 39 nights out of 40 in Europe with a night back in Canada worth five hours work. Yeah, that would have a global impact too. But if he presents these debt liberations as some kind of a threat to the rich and powerful and ignores the quiet takedown going on around the world, it would be a disservice. As the financial markets make news shrieking their death throes, debt death throes, while real world barter markets are quietly taken over, we expect suits protesting in the streets while farmers are going to be doing fine. When I first announced I was running for parliament to legalize gambling, it took me 40 days of thought without any Bible input before I asked myself, what would an interest free world look like? Well, of course, I had an advantage having been an interest-free banker at my own casino games, so I soon realized the answer was heaven. We now get to judge Michael Moore's thesis on what's wrong and what we have to do to fix the banking system engineer. So, Michael Moore said, we wish us well tonight. We'll be home soon to open the movie all across the country, September 23rd in New York and L.A., October 2nd, everywhere else. And I said, of course, I applaud any video which exposes the inner workings of the banking systems engineering blueprint. And you can see that at my bankmath.htm page at johnturnall.com, especially when there are such other good videos around. 
So I applaud the nerve it takes to publish a thesis on Mammon. I only hope he doesn't get left out of, laughed out of our banking system's engineering class. M.M. I'll leave you with a quote from Thomas Jefferson. Banking establishments are more dangerous than standing armies. And I say, well, only the interest-bearing loan shark models, not the interest-free, let's time-based accounting models. I hope he's noted the difference. Then again, he might be focusing on how errant behavior made us fall off the bike and not the malfunction in the bike. So he said, here is Michael Moore. And I said, I'm praying he gets his blueprint right. And the trailer, you can see Michael Moore's capitalism. It's at YouTube. And how will we grade Michael Moore's banking systems engineering thesis? We'll find out.